I'm here with Dr. Aubrey de Grey, who is a biomedical gerontologist. Is that's that right? right? That's perfect. And his research is all about combating the process of aging. And we're going to get into this deep here uh, with about a 90 minute show. But for people that have no idea about exactly what you do, how do you describe it in like a minute? Very simple. Essentially, all I need to do is to get across the fact that aging is not in any way distinct from the diseases and disabilities of old age that we're familiar with, Alzheimer's, atherosclerosis, cancer, you know, whatever. These things are all part and parcel of the same network of processes. They're all side effects of being alive in the first place, side effects of, if you like, later stages of the accumulation of damage that the body does to itself, the same way that any, even inanimate machine, like a car, any machine with moving parts will do to itself as a side effect of its normal operation. Right, there's something you said, it was like, we, we think of it as biology, but it's almost more like physics it is. in a way. It is. And this, this language issue is fascinating because I think, you, we're gonna talk about this more, when people start talking about these age diseases, I think what you're trying to say is that we shouldn't separate that from aging process, right? Exactly. And it's a very nuanced point you make, I think. Yeah, it sounds nuanced, but it's really fundamental. I mean, really the difference, the problem is not so much that people think of the diseases of aging as separate from aging. Rather, the problem is that they think of them as diseases. You know, a disease, like an infection, is something that we can cure. We can actually go in and eliminate the in the problematic agent from the body. Things that are happening in old age are happening in old age because they are side effects of being alive in the first place. Right. And therefore, there is no way we can stop them from happening without stopping being alive in the first place from happening, which would rather defeat the object, really, wouldn't it? Right. Um, so what we've got to do instead is take a completely different approach to the actual medicalization of this problem, we've got to do what we do with inanimate objects like cars. We've got to apply periodic preventative maintenance, uh, you know, a, 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 a periodic rejuvenation, if you like, going in and eliminating damage, not necessarily all the damage even, just lots of it, before, so as to stop it from going and accumulating and getting to a point that exceeds what the body is set up to tolerate. Right. This is fascinating. And we're going to be talking about regeneration as well. And I mean, this is a topic that obviously I think as you get a little bit older, you might prick your ears up a little bit more, which is something I also want to talk to him about. And um, yeah, the language, and I guess it isn't really nuanced, but more of this. I'm glad we have a good 90 minutes to talk about this because there is so much to talk about, not to mention, you know, the amount of money that goes into the research and the percent of GDP and the amount it goes into old age. I mean, we have a lot to talk about. So we're going to get plugged in here. Um, Dr. DeGray, I'm really looking forward to this and thank you for coming over. Well, thank you for having me on the show. Okay, awesome. All right, uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll get this fresh to your inbox. We're going in right now. So see you later.